Yo, what the hell is up with these dudes? Are there any good guys left? Any, any of you out there looking for a woman, single mom, in her 30s? I have a job, military, I've got my shit together. Um, I don't need no man to help me financially. I work, like, let's go. Send me your resume, please. <laughs> it's crazy, right? So many women are getting on camera, begging and pleading, doing whatever they can to try to secure resources. Not a good guy. She wants a life raft. She wants the guy who's going to come save the day after she hit that proverbial 30-year-old mark that epiphany phase that every single woman cannot avoid. Now, notice at the end of the clip, she said, please then send me your resume. So she wants a good guy. She's begging, but she had to throw that ego boost in there so she wouldn't feel too bad about posting and saying, send me your resume. I'm hiring, basically. So here's the thing. Let me ask you this question, 30-year-old single mother, and all you women out there for that matter. You're a company. Okay, what if I send you my resume? What am I getting from you? Uh, what benefits? What's the turnover rate? Because it most likely is really high since you're still 30 year old and you're a single mother and you don't have a guy who wants to actually be with you. So what am I getting? See, what you should be doing is saying, okay, hey, I bring sex, sandwiches, and silence to a man you really want. Because you can't just come to a guy and, and get on camera and say, okay, I, I want a good guy, but send me your resume. It's just because here's what's going to happen. She's going to get all those inquiries, all those good guy, nice guys, and she's going to, nope, 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 you don't fit the bill. Nope, nope, you don't fit my mold. Nope, nope. What she really wants, whenever you hear a woman say, I want a good, a good man, where are the nice guys, where are the good guys at? Translation. She's saying, the guys that turn her on, that get her wet, that she really finds attractive, that top 15 to 20% guy that she really wants, she wants that guy to settle down with her and commit to her. She wants that alpha male, that bad boy to be good to her. She wants to slay that dragon. She wants to be the one that's going to get that high value, that quality guy, that guy who has all those options of different women to commit to her. So let's analyze your resume, 30-year-old single mother, because from what it looks like, you was just about to say, I work out, and she stopped, which she thought like, man, that's probably kind of masculine. And, and that's how you look. You look masculine. Men want feminine women, right? And she says she has a job, and I, I'm in the military. Well, congratulations. I was in the military too. Thanks for serving. But the thing about it is, you women, what are you bringing? You want a guy, but you're not willing to give him anything. Are you willing to give him peace? Are you willing to be a, a compliant? Are you willing to not be combative? Are you willing and ready to be cooperative and follow his lead? Most likely not, because from what it looks like, she has all these sleeve tattoos. And some people say, don't judge a book by its cover. But let's be honest. You see a woman like that, what's going to come to your mind right away is what? Even if you never knew she was 30 years old, even if you never knew she was a single mother, you just saw her on the street, what would you say? Mm, man, I smash. Okay. Oh, you just see freak right away. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I nail it. I'll pump and dump. Oh, I, I smash. I skeet, skeet, and delete. And, and you wouldn't think twice about trying to wife her up or, or make her your girlfriend or long term companion or anything like that. All you see is long sleeve tattoos. She probably got a whole bunch of other tattoos, maybe piercing. Who knows? But the fact of the matter is, uh, that particular woman, and most women who are in their 30s and 40s and who think, well, 40 is the new 20 and 50 is the new 30. No. Listen, come back down to reality. And, and you bring baggage. Most single mothers, all single mothers, they bring baggage. You bring another man's child. Now, I don't know how many children she has. Let's say hypothetically she has one. Still too much. Because here's the thing about single mothers. As a man who's coming into that crappy situation, can we discipline that child? No, because what's going to happen is you're going to say, oh, you're not her dad or I got it. I got it. So man, he's going to be put in a bind. He's going to be have, have handcuffs. He's not going to be able to discipline and do what he has to do because a man is a disciplinarian. He's a leader when it comes to his children and his family. So you ultimately by default is going to be in control, single mother, 30 years old and 
All of a sudden, you want a good guy? This is what I find so crazy and funny. All of a sudden, you want a good, nice man. All you ladies. Why is that? You know why? Because you can't secure that alpha male. You can't slay him. You can't get him to commit. So you're saying, well, uh, I guess I'll settle for a consolation prize. Hey, where are all the good guys? Uh, uh, you a good man over there? Uh, uh, that, that's what she wants. You're settling for a guy that you're not really attracted to. Not saying that good man isn't a good guy, but the fact of the matter is she's settling. So here's what's going to play out in her mind. She's going to be thinking, okay, I got this good guy, but uh, you know, I don't really like him like that. And, and she's still going to be on the prowl for that alpha male that she can slay. And if she happened to slay him or she thinks she can get him, she'll just get rid of you, good guy, because you are just a placeholder. That's it. <laughs> it's, it's sad, but it's a, a fact that these women are coming out of the woodworks and begging. Listen, this life is, is tough, especially if you don't have that person, that man, that alpha man who's able to lead you and guide you there. It's hard to get pumped and up by guy after guy after guy after guy. A guy smashes you, hangs out with you, and you can't keep a guy past two to three months, and then it's on to another guy, and it's on to another guy. And it's all to, I mean, that's a tough life for a woman to go through. And now women are saying, listen, now I'm tired. Please send for me. Please. I need you. Good man. Guys, don't fall for that trap because yes, she has a somewhat of a feminine face, but look at her voice. She's like, yo, she already started off masculine. Yo, uh, I mean, she's trying to show her guns. Like, no, no, no. Why would a man want to deal with that? I guarantee you she's going to fight you. She's going to. Listen, it, it's not worth it. Get you a woman who's not past her prime, who doesn't have children, because there's tons of women out there. Now, here's the thing. For all you single mothers who might say, so what's it to us? Or, is there any hope? Well, there's a small bit of hope. What you have to do is send those children back to their dad, give them custody, number one. And number two, you better bring sex, sandwiches, and submission. The three S's to a man's life and you be feminine, and you can get a quality guy. But until then, you're going to get pumped and dumped. I'm going to be honest, because men are going to look at your situation, and they're going to say, okay, you know, you passed your prime, and, and, and okay, you got children as well. How many children you got? I mean, what's going on? What happened with the situation? Why is the dad there? I mean, I mean, what, what happened? Because he's going to have to take on that burden. So in most men's minds, they're going to look at your situation. They're going to probably act like they like you, and then they're going to smash and they got to get get out of town. They got to be like, you know what? This ain't going to work out. And you got to be going through that proverbial hamster reel over and over and over and over again through life. And then you got to get tired of saying, what's going on with me? Why? Well, you're already bringing your resume to us men. And it's trash. And other women are bringing their resume. And they're saying, listen, I don't got no kids. I'm cooperative. I'm feminine. So what? what is he going to choose? He's going to choose that woman. Why would he choose you? Why would me as a company... Any man who has his life together, who respects himself, choose you. 30-year-old single mother, the only thing she says, she had a, I have a job, I have my own money, you independent. And the fact that she says independent, if you hear a woman say that she's strong and independent or independent, that I word, what she's saying is, dude, I ain't got to listen to you. I ain't got to submit to you. I don't got to follow you. Every independent woman that I've met in my entire life was always combative. They always say sarcastic, silly stuff. They always want to do things their way. Now, they'll rope you in in the beginning like they're all, you know, kind and follow your lead. But then give it time. That mask will reveal and she will show you why she's a 30-year-old single mother. She'll realize and show you why she's single, why nobody really wants her. It always happens. So, guys, some of you might slide in her, D her DMs and say, hey, I'm here to save the day. But she's going to look at you in disgust. Because she doesn't want you. She don't want a good guy. She wants a guy who's going to get her wet. And that guy is that top 15, 20% guy. The guy that really turns her on. The, the guy that has a lot of options. Unfortunately, this is reality. And this is most women reality. This is what they have to face. So if you're 30 years old, if you're past your prime, if you hit that point, listen, you're going to have to do a lot of soul searching. And you're going to have to humble yourself. Because you can't just come to a man and start saying, okay, this is what I want. Send me your resume. What you got? What you going to do for me? Because that's very masculine. 
I mean, it's very demeaning. I mean, why should a guy be with you? What are the benefits uh, if we get hired by you? Most likely none. So what you need to do, all you ladies, is send your resume to us so we can realize, okay, what is she bringing? Uh, what is the baggage? I mean, why should I have to deal with you? Thank you.